Howdy y'all, Beardy Carpenter here. I'm here in front of a good fire. Built a fire earlier in the fireplace. It's pretty nasty outside still. Kind of been a pretty chilly morning. But I think uh, looking out the window, it may clear off and, and be a pretty day. We've had a lot of rain. But I wanted to share something with you. In the opening of a package, now I've already opened this up. This package is from a girl or a young lady in uh, up north in Wisconsin, and her name is Valerie. Now, Valerie has been uh, battling cancer for quite a while now, and there have been different fundraisers to help them out financially. Scott, who's her husband, has been working two jobs. She's not able to do anything, and they're, uh, they're, they're having to travel quite, quite a distance back and forth to, uh, to treatments. She's taking a lot of chemo, and now she's facing a, a stem cell transplant and there are different channels who have raised money for her and one of them is Rock of Ages USA. Now they have been doing different things and she has sent me along with a card. Now this, this is what we call a toboggan. It's a winter, something to wear in the winter time to put on your head to keep your ears warm. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on. It says, Valerie Strong. And this girl <clears throat> is strong. She's a strong-willed girl. And she's going to beat this battle. She's going to win over this. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on my head. I've always been blessed to have a pretty good mop of hair on my head keep my head warm. Now sitting in front of this fireplace I may have to take it off because my back's really beginning to get hot. But she also sent some bracelets, uh, little wristbands, and it says her fight is our fight. And on the other side it says Valerie Strong. Just keep her in your prayers. There's a lot of people that are affected with cancer maybe a family member or a friend that you know, it seems to strike all of us. And I, I ask that you keep Valerie in your prayers. And uh, just check her channel out, Saul Slinger's Girl, and check out Scott's channel, Saul Slinger. And their son's name is Hayden, so I want to say thank you, Valerie, Hayden, and Scott for the toboggan and the wristbands and the really nice card. I've got another package here that came in the mail. And this is from Rock of Ages USA. And he does a lot of different things. He, he does some chainsaw carvings and, and he restores axes. And I really enjoy watching him do those things. And right now he needs about 100 subscribers to get to 1,000. I ask you to go check old Rock out and subscribe to his channel. But he sent me a package. Now, <clears throat> it says Hunt's Brothers, which that's pizza. Now, I've never seen a piece of pizza shaped like this. And when I saw this package, I knew immediately what it was. And we're going to open this up, and I want to show you what old Rock sent me. Get my pocket knife here. He's got it packaged up really good. I can do this without cutting myself because I keep my knife pretty sharp. Rock, you sure know how to pack something, buddy. Ah, we're getting down to it. I see metal. Wow. That is one nice broad axe. I mean, it is really, really nice. Look how clean. The pole has never been hammered on. It's nice and crisp. I can see the tool still 
line on it here. This is going to clean up really nice. It's almost like the one that I've been using. Rock, I appreciate you, buddy. Wow, what a gift. What a gift. Now, Rock, I want to tell you something, bud. You didn't realize this, but when I made the handles back earlier, made one for James at Old School with a Modern Twist, I made an extra handle or two. So I already have a handle for this broad axe. Wow, that is great. I appreciate you so much. Wow, that is something. That's awesome. That is, that is quite a gift. Rock, I appreciate you. And I thank you so much. Go subscribe to Rock of Ages USA and help him get the subscribers that he needs so that he can become monetized. Well, I know what I'm going to be doing on a rainy day, which is pretty often around here right now. I'll be putting a new handle in this axe and get it sharpened up so that I can hew with it. Thanks again. God bless each and every one of you.